Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss objective questions on a tool material. So the very first question, wearing resistance of a cutting tool must be high, low, very low, none of the mention. The answer is high. So the wearing resistance of a cutting tool must be high. Here you can see the insert and that is get weared. Okay. So the wearing resistance of a cutting tool must be very high. Next question. Which of the following tool is most suitable for very hard and brittle material? Next, uh, the answer is carbide. So which of the following tool is most suitable for very hard and brittle material? For the machining of very hard and brittle material, carbide is most suitable material. Here you can see the various cutting tool which is made up of carbide. Next question, which of the following tool material will offer lower friction and higher resistance to the crack and wear. The answer is coated tool. So the coated tool material will offer lower friction and higher resistance to the crack and wear. Here you can see the coated tools. They are coated with the different materials and they provide lower friction as well as higher resistance to the crack and wear. Next question, which of the following material can be used for coating on the tool? The answer is titanium, titanium carbon nitride. Okay. So this material is used for coating on the tool. Here you can see the coated tool. Then the thermal conductivity of the cutting tool must be, the answer is high. The thermal conductivity of the cutting tool must be very high so that it will get, the heat will get transferred. So for faster removal of heat, cutting tool must have high thermal conductivity. Thermal conductivity of the tool must be very high. Next question, which of the following properties are required for cutting tool? The answer is all of the above. That is hardness, hot hardness, pressure resistance, bending strength, toughness, inner bonding strength. These are all important properties for the cutting tool. Next question. Cutting tool material must be harder than the material of the workpiece. The answer is true. The cutting tool material must be hard than the material which is to be machined. Next question. High speed steel lose their hardness at? The answer is 600 degree Celsius. Beyond 600 degree Celsius, the high speed steel lose their hardness. Next question. Which of the following is hardest? hardest known material the answer is diamond so diamond is the hardest material out of cemented carbide ceramic and carbon boron nitrate the last question which of the following is not a constituent of hss the answer is nickel so nickel is not a constituent of high speed steel so these are 10 important questions on a cutting tool material i have made a playlist of the objective questions on the manufacturing process please watch that playlist Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you.